J. Robert Oppenheimer was a brilliant physicist and a key figure in the development of the atomic bomb during World War II. Born on 22nd April 1904, in New York City, Oppenheimer showed an early interest in science and excelled in his studies. He attended Harvard University and later pursued a PhD in physics at the University of Göttingen in Germany. In the 1930s Oppenheimer made significant contributions to theoretical physics, particularly in the field of quantum mechanics. He became a professor at the University of California, Berkeley, where he continued his research and mentored numerous students who later became prominent scientists. Oppenheimer conducted significant research in various fields of science, including theoretical astronomy, nuclear physics, spectroscopy, and quantum field theory, with a special focus on general relativity and nuclear theory. He also extended quantum field theory into quantum electrodynamics. He was particularly interested in the theory of the continuous spectrum and explored topics related to molecular band spectra using quantum theory. In his first published paper in 1926, Oppenheimer delved into the quantum theory of molecular band spectra and developed a method to calculate its transition probabilities. He applied his calculations to study the photoelectric effect for hydrogen and X-rays, obtaining the absorption coefficient at the cage. Notably, his calculations aligned with observations of the X-ray absorption of the Sun, but not helium. Subsequently, it was realized that the Sun predominantly consisted of hydrogen, confirming the accuracy of Oppenheimer's calculations in this context. Furthermore, his groundbreaking work in theoretical astronomy predicted several discoveries, such as the existence of the neutron, mesin, and neutron star. Oppenheimer's contributions to the fields of physics and quantum mechanics were significant and laid the foundation for future scientific developments and understanding. During the late 1930s, J. Robert Oppenheimer developed a strong interest in astrophysics, possibly influenced by his friendship with Richard Tolman. This newfound fascination led to a series of papers. The initial one, co-authored with Robert Serba in 1938 and titled On the Stability of Stellar Neutron Cores, delved into the properties of white dwarfs. Subsequently, Oppenheimer collaborated with his student, George Volkoff, to produce another paper called On Massive Neutron Cores, which demonstrated the existence of a limit known as the Tolman oppenheimer volkoff limit. This limit determined the maximum mass a star could possess before experiencing gravitational collapse and becoming unstable as a neutron star. In 1939, Oppenheimer and his student, Hartland Snyder, published the paper on continued gravitational contraction, which made a groundbreaking prediction about the existence of what we now refer to as black holes. These papers, along with his born Oppenheimer approximation work, are among his most cited contributions and played a pivotal role in reviving astrophysical research in the United States during the 1950s largely attributed to the efforts of John A. Wheeler. With the outbreak of World War II, Oppenheimer was appointed to lead the Top Secret Manhattan Project, a research initiative aimed at developing an atomic bomb. He assembled a team of brilliant scientists and engineers, including Enrico Fermi, Richard Feynman and Niels Bohr, among others. The Manhattan Project faced immense challenges, including technical hurdles and ethical dilemmas surrounding the use of such a powerful weapon. Despite these challenges, Oppenheimer's leadership and dedication to the project led to the successful test of the first atomic bomb in July 1945, codenamed Trinity. The test took place in the desert of New Mexico and marked a significant milestone in human history as it demonstrated the potential for immense destructive power. However, the development and use of the atomic bomb weighed heavily on Oppenheimer's conscience. After witnessing the devastating impact of the bombings of Hiroshima and Nagasaki in August 1945, he became an advocate for nuclear arms control and international cooperation in science. Unfortunately, Oppenheimer's career took a downturn during the early years of the Cold War when he was accused of having communist sympathies. He faced intense scrutiny during the McCarthy era, and his security clearance was revoked in 1954. 
This setback marked a dark period in his life and career. Despite the controversies, Oppenheimer remained a respected scientist and educator. He continued his research and lectured at various institutions, including the Institute for Advanced Study in Princeton, where he worked until his retirement in 1966. J. Robert Oppenheimer's contributions to science and his pivotal role in the development of the atomic bomb are undeniable. His legacy is both a testament to human ingenuity and a reminder of the ethical dilemmas that arise from scientific discoveries with immense power. He passed away on 18 February 1967, leaving behind a complex and enduring legacy in the fields of physics and the history of science.